Hey guys, I am Toshiboy and today we're watching Star Wars Rogue One official teaser trailer. I am very excited for this and we seem to be zoomed in which is rather frightening. Um, I'm really excited for this, it should be awesome. I don't know really much about it, so uh, yeah, let's let's watch the trailer and hopefully, it says teaser trailer so I'm not expecting much, but it's almost two minutes long, so that's always a good sign. This is Rogue One. By the Motion Picture Association of America. Alright, okay. State your name for the record. Jen Urso. Oh, is it another female lead? Forgery cool. of Imperial documents. Possession of oh, that property. Good. Aggravated assault. Resisting arrest. Mm, she sounds like a bit of a... On your own from the age of 15. Okay. Reckless, aggressive and undisciplined. This is a rebellion, isn't it? Damn. Holy cow. I rebel. <laughs> I like her already. We have a mission for you. What's the Ooh, it's a pretty. major weapons test is imminent. We need to know what it is and how to destroy it. Is that oh it's the Death Star, okay. Is that clear? Crystal. Yes, sir. Yeah. So yeah. Like Ian McKellen? Oh, I'm so excited for this. What will you do when they catch you? What will you do if they break you? Oh, I think if you continue to fight. Oh. Oh. What will you become? That looks awesome! For the pure factory engineer, I know why that looks awesome. Because not only does it feel like Star Wars, but it doesn't feel like it's part of the actual franchise. It feels like it's another part of it. Like It, it feels like the expanded universe, and that is so cool to see. Something that, I mean, if I'm right, if I've got my things right, that's set between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope, so it's filling in the gap between them, or at least it's filling in partial parts of the gap. And I didn't really realise we had a female lead, but that's awesome, I like that, you know, a uh, female in the new series. Oh, there's going to be some fanboys going, oh, <laughs> some in their mum's basement going, who guys are eating the hamburgers going, <laughs> they can't be female leads, they feminism, well, maybe, they're just really good actresses and, you know, you should give them a fucking chance, I don't know, I'm just saying, I'm just, I mean, look at Ray, she's amazing. To say, you know, <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that looked pretty damn cool. Uh, it had a very, I, I got a bit of a Hunger Games vibe from it when she was sat in the sort of like the, um, it was like a transport and she was looking out the window, but that was only, sort of the only part it reminded me of any other film. It was still very much Star Wars, but it was very much a different kind of Star Wars, and all those fucking ATTT. Oh, that looks so cool. I never remember if they're called ATSTs or ATTTs. The ones called ATTTs and the ones called ATSTs, and I just. Sorry. Oh, no, it's ATATs and ATTs. Sorry. I get confused. Um, you were thinking of, because I play so much Star Wars Battlefront that you think I know this shit, but apparently not. Um, yeah, so I'm very excited. Uh, that looked amazing with them all just like running through the fields and all the and then just firing at them. That looked so cool. Um, yeah, there was loads of. Uh, we didn't really see. We saw a bit of the crew from the looks of it. it. I think it's like an ensemble cast, I imagine. Um, in fact, it is an ensemble cast because I saw. A, I think I saw a picture of the cast. I don't remember seeing her in it though. Unless I'm mistaken. I don't know. But um, there's quite a few of them, and it looks pretty damn cool. I'm very excited for it. Yeah, I'm awesome. I just say I'm awesome. Well, <laughs> well, no, not at all. But that looks awesome. That does look really cool. Thank you for watching very much, guys. I will see you in the next video. I hope you have a great day, and I do love you all. Bye.